Okay, so there seems to be a uh, somewhat of a consensus out there in the fitness world that strength and muscle growth or hypertrophy are at odds with one another. That's not totally tr true in my opinion. They're not totally exclusive, but uh, it is a little bit of an art and a science to combine the two, and that's what I'm trying to do. Hey gang, welcome back to Mark's 60 plus fitness journey. Now today, I want to talk about an aspect that is very important to me currently in my over 60 fitness journey. That would be strength, i.e. increasing my physical strength, and hypertrophy or muscle growth at the same time, simultaneously. That's what I want to talk about today, and I'm going to present to you my plan that I've designed for me to do that very thing. So let's get at it. Okay, so there seems to be a uh, somewhat of a consensus out there in the fitness world that strength and muscle growth or hypertrophy are at odds with one another. For example, you can, you can increase your strength with strength training, but you won't necessarily get a corresponding muscle growth with that. Or you could engage in hypertrophy training for muscle growth, but you won't necessarily get stronger. And that's not totally tr true in my opinion. They're not totally exclusive, but uh, it is a little bit of an art and a science to combine the two, and that's what I'm trying to do. I want to get stronger, physically stronger, to keep my capacity for exertion or endurance, just be strong as I age. If this applies to any age, but particularly as we age, I want to be able to remain strong, uh, uh, physically able to engage in life, climb stairs, go on vacation, walk, get in and out of car, and God forbid, if anybody wants me to help them move, I'm able to help them move. And I want mus muscular growth or hypertrophy. Increasing the size of muscle fibers. I want to do these two simultaneously. So I'm going to show you the plan I designed to do that very thing. Okay, so I designed this strength and hypertrophy training to be done in one workout session. But I will distinctly separate the strength and hypertrophy training within that same workout session. Meaning... I'm going to prioritize the strength training first. I'm going to always do my strength training first because I feel like I need to get the heavier workload done earlier and um, I want to fully engage my nervous system and be able to get the form as proper as possible since we're using heavier weights. Okay, now let me explain my concept of strength training. I've got uh, several videos I've done on my strength strength training uh, approach and I'll link that up here in the corner for you. Uh, essentially my strength training consists of strength barbell movements such as squats, deadlifts, overhead presses, and uh, barbell rows. And this whole uh, strength training is based on something called linear progression meaning that after I warm up properly, I always warm up properly, I'm going to do three sets of five reps or five sets of three reps. It's gonna be a low rep count at a heavy weight. And this, these three sets of five reps, for example, will be done at a given working weight. And once you can successfully do three sets of five reps at that given working weight, say, you're doing squats at 200 pounds. Once you do three sets of five reps at 200 pounds, you move that up five pounds and then proceed on until you reach a plateau. So that is my strength training concept. Okay, now let's talk about my concept of hypertrophy training. Effectively, this is just going to be higher rep count and probably higher set count. So instead of three sets of five, we may do four or five sets of eight to 15 reps. Now, this rep range for me is heavily dependent on what I'm doing. For example, I'll, I'll get into this a little, little bit later, 
but a lot of my dumbbell shoulder work, I work up to 15 reps. Um, these are done to near failure. So for my hypertrophy training, these sets of these higher reps are done to near failure, meaning one or two reps still in the tank. So that's my concept of hypertrophy training for me. Okay, next I want to talk about how I integrate the strength and hypertrophy training into each of my workouts. But before I do that, I want to show you a basic synopsis of my current workout program. Uh, one day is shoulder and chest day. Uh, I tend to always focus on shoulders. Uh, this has always been a weak spot for me, so I focus on this, prioritize that with less work on chest. Um, if I do too much chest work, I do tend to get overdeveloped there and get out of proportion. Uh, I have a back day, an exclusive arm day, and a leg day. And what I've, I used to rest after I finished one of these four day cycles, but I've recently decided I'm doing this. I'll do five workouts in a row and then rest on the sixth day. That way I'm always entering into a new workout after a rest day. So that's my basic workout program. Okay, let's get into some uh, a little more specifics of how I integrate my strength and hypertrophy training into each of my days. And we're going to start with shoulder and chest day. And as I mentioned before, I always emphasize and focus on my shoulders first on this day. So my strength movement on this day, which I will always do first. Um, so for my shoulder chest day, my strength movement is the overhead press. Three sets of five at a given weight, linear progression, keep going until you reach a plateau, then reset. That is my singular strength movement. I don't do bench presses anymore. Uh, I don't like to focus that much on my chest. Um, so for my hypertrophy training on this day for shoulders, I'll do, generally speaking, dumbbell work. Um, that'll be three uh, movements of three sets of 10 to 15 reps. So these shoulder dumbbell movements, uh, lateral raises, overhead presses, rear delt flies, I'm gonna do those in 10 to 15 rep range. To me, for me, that works out really well. Um, I may also include some cable work, um, again, 10 to 15 rep range. And occasionally, I'll actually go back to the overhead press, except now I'll do that and uh, the 10 to 15 range, a much lighter weight. So let me get to the uh, chest portion now. Okay, the chest portion of my shoulder chest day, uh, my strength movement, I don't have one. I don't do bench presses. If I were to have a strength movement here, it would be bench presses. Um, my hypertrophy movements for my chest day primarily are dumbbell flies or cable flies. I like, I like, I like cable flies a lot. Uh, mostly because in my gym they're easier to get to. The benches are always taken. But I'll do these flies in the 10 to 12 rep range and I'll do three sets of, um, for example, dumbbell flies flat, three, bill, three sets of incline dumbbell flies at the 10 to 12 rep range. And I always include push-ups in my chest day. I just love push-ups. They work for me really well. They hit my pecs well, so I do them. So my push-ups, I always try to get in at least 100 push-ups total in a, in, a, in a chest workout. So I'll do however many it takes to uh, get to that 100, but uh, generally it's in the 20 to 50 rep range. Okay, back day. My strength movement on back day, barbell rows. Now there's an infinite variety of barbell rows out there. I don't know if you've ever researched these. I, I've recently, um, I really like the uh, Penley rows or the drop rows. They work really well. Uh, but at any rate, it's going to be a linear progression, strength movement, barbell row, three sets of five reps at a given rate, weight. Uh, again, I always do that first on my back day. Strength movement first. Uh, 
a follow-up with my hypertrophy workout. And generally speaking, I'll start out with some cable work, like lat pull-downs um, or seated lat pulls. Um, there's also an excellent hammer strength lat pull or rowing machine that I like to use. Um, dumbbell rows, there's another one of my favorites. I like dumbbell rows and pull-ups. I always do pull-ups on back day, particularly for the hypertrophy part of this. I uh, always want to get at least a total of 50 pull-ups in and lately I've been shooting for 70. So what I'll do is I'll do a max set and say that's that's 20. I'll just keep going until I'm done. And generally these cable movements and uh, these, these, these first few uh, hypertrophy movements, I, I do these in the 10 to 12 rep range, meaning I'm going to do three sets of each one of these at 10 to 12 reps, keep it, keeping in mind that for each one of these, you want to have one or two reps left in the tank, near failure. Okay, next is arm day. Arm day is my favorite. It's kind of like the Friday or dessert of my workout. I, I like to do this before my leg day, which is following. So, my strength movement on arm day, obviously not a strength movement on arm day. So, my, it's solely hypertrophy. And what I've liked to do, this is what I'm doing now. We, I'm doing supersets of biceps and triceps. And what I'll do is probably a total, well, what I've been doing is a total of 18 sets of at 10 to 12 reps. So that'd be like nine sets of biceps, nine sets of triceps. Of course, it'd be in a superset fashion and gives me a lot of volume. And it's a nice little workout I can get in in probably 35, 40 minutes. I love, I, I love this arm day. And since it's an easier day, I will uh, finish up with a longer walk. I forgot to mention earlier, um, on all of my days, I like to get in at least 10,000 steps. Um, so for this arm day, since it's easier, I, I, I do include a longer walk, which is sometimes up to an hour and a half, 90 minutes or so. And finally, we're at the beast of my workout cycle, leg day. Now my strength movement on leg day is going to be squats and deadlifts. What I'll do here is on each leg session, I'll alternate between the focus I put on the strength movement. I'll, one session I'll do squats, heavy, and focus on my linear progression of three sets of five, and then finish up with a lighter session of deadlifts. Just trying to keep, maybe work at a little bit lower than my normal working weight would be for the linear progression. The next session, I'll start out with deadlifts first, using my regular linear progression working weight, three sets of five reps. Then follow up with squats after, again, with a little bit lighter weight than my normal linear progression working weight of squats. So I'll alternate these between sessions. Now, um, as for my leg hypertrophy movements, squats again. Now, a lot of times, I, most of the time, I will, I'll, before I move out from the squat rack, I'll finish up with three sets of 10 to 12 reps at obviously a lighter weight. Um, it's, it's, a, it's almost a high intensity interval training type thing doing that with squats. So that'll be like 10 to 12 reps. Uh, I'll then go out on the main floor and do some leg presses. I love leg presses. Uh, 10 to 12 rep range again. Um, leg extensions towards the end. And then I get some hamstring work done. I think, I haven't done this yet, but I'm gonna start implementing some stiff leg deadlifts for my hamstring work as well, and some calf work. Now, I forgot to mention this earlier on my um, um, back day, I do some calf work as well. So I try to get calves in a couple times um, in this four-day four uh, cycle that I have here. 
So yeah, leg day is tough. That's why I like to have a, an easier day, arm day. Prior to this, um, this one's a bear. This is the big strength movement day for me. It really is. Okay, leg day. Okay, now a couple of notes before I forget. Recovery between sets. Uh, this is something that I've had a hard time with, particularly when I'm doing my strength exercises. On the strength exercises, I need to have at least five minutes of rest between sets. Uh, it's a heavier weight, a lot more intensity. Need to get to get the full effect of that heavy weight and intensity. Need the right form, need the right rest to, to hit those hard each time. Now the hypertrophy exercises, I, one to two minutes is about all I need there. I like to keep those things hopping. And one other thing is after my, my workouts at the end, uh, I like to reserve 10 to 15 minutes for some high, high intensity interval training. Uh, these, are, these are 20 to 30 second high intensity bursts followed by a complete recovery and then repeat for 10 to 15 minutes. Now what I like to do is stair climbing is excellent for me. The dyno bikes, the ones with those big fans, I particularly like to do that on arm day too, by the way. That's a, a good follow-up on arm day. Or sprints. Um, I like to go outside when I can and do some sprints outside. Uh, another key component to this strength slash hypertrophy concept for me is I need to be in a slight calorie sur uh, surplus. So right now, that's at least 3,200 calories a day for me. I recently, recently did a video on uh, one day of eating for me and broke it down really well. I'll link that up here so you can check that out. So I just wanted to present these before we finish up here. Okay, little quick summary of my workout session schedule. I work out five days in a row with the sixth day being a rest day. For example, shoulder, chest, back, arms, legs, Shoulder, chest, rest, back, arms, legs, shoulder, chest, back, rest, arms, and so on. And the beauty of that is, in my opinion, is that after each rest day, it's a different body part that I go into following that rest day, fresh. So this works out really well for me. Now, hopefully, uh, there's something of use in here. Uh, my strength training slash hypertrophy designed workout I just showed you. I feel really good about it. I've done this for a few months now and I, I, I really feel stronger. I'm definitely, I'm definitely stronger. Um, if you've been following my squat progression and my deadlift progression, it, it's, it's definitely working um, in that regard. And I feel a little more muscular, even at 61 years old. And I feel pretty lean, I really do. Uh, it's working great. So hopefully uh, there's something of value in what I just showed you. If you have any comments, suggestions, ideas, please let us know. Tell us. Um, we're, like, as I've said many times, we're all here to learn. If you have any ways for me to improve my current workout, please let me know. Be glad to hear it. Um, this is a forum. Uh, I love a discussion. We get some good feedback. And like I've said before, I've implemented quite a few things that you guys and gals have pointed out to me. So thank you for that. Um, thank you for visiting. I, I sincerely appreciate it. And if you would do me the favor of clicking that like button, that'd be much appreciated. And if you haven't, please consider clicking that subscribe button and joining our, our group here. We'd love to have you. So. Until next time, go get them. Mark out.